you bring up Cape Henlopen, I think it's a really important place to start. A, a place where the education system is feeling a strain due to increased population in our school system, but also a place where the community hasn't uh, voted to fund education from a local level. And so I think what this demonstrates is that there needs to be holistic reform across the spectrum. I'm advocating for funding reform, making sure that the state funding formula adequately uh, allocates money um, in ways that it's going to be most effective uh, for students on the ground. Um, and because we spend a lot of money on education, my argument and my question is if we're spending it in the right places. Um, and so when we think about English language learners um, or special education programs, let's make sure that those programs are getting what is needed in order for those students to be successful. But I've often said, and, I, and you'll hear others in the field say, you cannot have that funding reform at the state level without also looking at the referenda system and making sure that by pulling one lever, we're not throwing another off. And I think what I would like to do is look at systems reform rather than just piecemeal legislation to do little things one at a time.